Yeah, we're live. What's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, baby. This is a uh, larger painting. This is, uh, what does it measure? I don't even know what it measures. Let me check this out. What do you measure? What do you measure? You measure 30 by 24. Yeah, 24 by 30 inches. This painting, um, it's a landscape. No, it's not going to be a landscape. This is actually going to be some water lilies. So, it's going to be some water lilies. Uh, yeah, let's let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. So what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to draw it. Okay. Those of you who are like, dude, what are you going to do? I'm going to draw it. That's what I'm going to do. What the hell do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to draw it. So here we go. Look, check it out. Boom. And I'm going to draw it with paint because drawing with paint, um, it's pretty cool. Unless I'm doing a acrylic, I might draw it with, with, with charcoal or pencil. I used to draw them with charcoal. And some of you are like, how do you do art? I, 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 I don't do it like that anymore. I don't, I don't draw it um, with charcoal anymore. And this is why I tell you guys, don't, don't get stuck on anything. Because it, it might be something that you just don't do anymore. Like, I don't do that anymore. I might go back to it, but it's not something that I, that I like, it's not my go-to. It's my go-to for the moment only. It's my go-to for the moment. Uh, maybe some uh, smaller ones over here. And then we have to have a, a flower, right? A lily. Can't have water lily pads without water lilies. <laughs> it's like, hey, left. And then one next to the other one, so that way they're not like. Why are you so far? Look at that. Ooh la la. Mucho Francois. You guys are watching this live, of course. It's like instant live. Unless you're watching it on YouTube sometime. I don't know. I might not I might not put it on YouTube. Who knows? By the way, I, I just got 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Very proud of that. Thank you so much for those of you who follow me on the YouTube. On the YouTubers. I appreciate that. It makes me feel like... People love me because <laughs> you do love me. You know that I love you too. All right. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start putting some shadow. Some shadow. Let's put some shadow. Shadow. Now you can't really think about it much with this kind of stuff. Okay, guys. I'm I'm kind of giving you guys a little extra here by talking about it, but you can't really think about it so much because if you do, you kind of miss the point of painting in an abstract expressionist way some people say that this is not loose brush some haters on i don't know i think it was a hater on youtube like, this is not loose brush okay you can be whatever you want don't worry let it be loose loose let it be brush brush let it be nothing let it be whatever your little heart desires i don't care i just want to paint it i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call it just painting Watch, there's going to be someone who's going to be like, that's not even painting. <laughs> there's always that one fucking hater. <laughs> that's not even painting. <laughs> I swear, there's always that one person. I'm so glad they don't come in twos. Like, uh, like the, uh, like the little uh, story. They come in twos. All right, check it out. Look at that. Ooh la la, what's your Francois? Now, when I said shadows, it's not just shadows, as in as in using uh, uh, dark greens or you can you can actually saturate shadows by using pure color. That's that's one of my tricks, actually. Some people some people don't know that, but here you go. I'm showing you. Look at that. Ooh la la, what's your Francois? It's a water lilies, baby. Water lilies. Haters kiss, uh, kiss your floor. They sure do. Thank you so much, Marga. You know, you know it. <laughs> it's 
haters are like, I want to be like you, daddy. You can't be like me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You cannot be like me. That's what haters, that's what haters are. They're like, I want to be like you. You cannot be like me. I'm sorry. You can be like you. That'll be a good thing. Check it out. This is... This is the story of my girl. Super 90 songs, yeah. Super 90s, yeah. There it is. Look at that. Ooh la la, mucho Francois. This is the way, this is the way. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna start putting some color because you don't you don't wanna go into the painting so much without putting color in there. Okay? As a matter of fact, you could start putting color right from the beginning. It doesn't really matter. What I mean by color, I'm talking about bright color, right? Uh, look at that. Ooh la la. Ooh, ooh, ooh la la. Mucho Francois. Mood. Molto Mario, baby. Look, uh, for those of you who are wondering why I am putting this type of colors in there, I'm not really thinking about it, guys. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm one hell of a colorist. So, someone said the other day, you're too cocky. I have to be cocky, guys. If I'm not, I miss out. It's my opportunity to be cocky. I suck at everything else. You know, I have to be like, oh, my God, I'm the world's greatest living artist. It's my, it's my claim to fame. Ha, huh, baby. She didn't even hear me. It's my wife in the other side of the studio. It's my claim to fame. Maybe she just ignored me. Ay, <laughs> cabrón. There we go. Look, check it out. Mmm, molto bueno. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Margaret. Margaret says you're inspiring others. You're going to be very blessed. Sure, I, I sure, I sure, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I sure hope that I'm inspiring others. I sure hope also that I, that I get very blessed. Thank you for that. Look at that. Ooh, la, la, la. This... Again, this canvas measures 30 by 20. Is it, did I say 30? I think I said 30, huh? 30 by 24 inches. Uh, unfortunately, this is not going to be on eBay, guys. For those of you who are like, man, I can't wait to see it. You will not see it on eBay. This is going somewhere else. This is going to one of my, one of my special places. This is going to one of my secret weapons. Oh la la, look at that. Secret weapon. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and I'll put a little bit of color in there. Because what's life without color? And I'll use the back end of the brush. And, and, and this is, again, this is to make us, give us the, the sense of movement, the sense of energy, right? It's almost like, like there's some electricity happening. So it feels like at times, like there's some electricity happening. There's something going on. There is something going on. Oh, oh, yeah. Something going on. In a world where something goes on. There it is. Check it out. Mm. What the bueno. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using some pinks back here. You know, pink, 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 baby, because we have, we have... We have greens, and when there is green, where there is green, if there is no red, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> where there's green and there's no red, you ain't doing it right. Okay. Got to be some sort of red, some sort of anything will do it. I mean, if you do pure red, you, you're 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 doing it really right. But you have to be bold to do pure red, or you have to be like one of those master artists. Wink, wink. <laughs> But you do, you do have to, you do have to, uh, uh, you do have to do whatever you want. <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> I do what I want, you guys. You, 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 you can do you. If you do you, you're going to figure it out. 
Look at that. Look at that. Molto bueno. So one of my bigger, my bigger paintings is a medium sized painting. Of course, my bigger paintings are about seven, seven, eight feet. Uh, I think you guys have seen me do one of those every now and then. Um, I'm taking my time. Really, I should have been finished with this painting like 20 minutes ago. I'm taking my time so that I can, so that I can uh, do some sweet, some sweet talk. And besides, people are telling me on, on YouTube that they, they, they're not sure if they love the paintings more than the talks. So, if I just, if I could just get them to buy them now. <laughs> I conquered the first part. Check it out. Oh, what the bueno. Look at that. For those of you who don't like using uh, dirty colors, some people say, oh, the colors are too muddy, muddy, right? Muddy, dirty colors. Oh, they're too muddy. Those of you who don't like using muddy colors, look, guys, don't use them. Let me use them. I'll use them all. Reason why is because if you have a muddy color, right, somewhere in the vicinity, if you have a muddy color, uh, something, I don't know, some, something very muddy that you're like, oh, my God, that's too muddy. If you have a muddy color and you put direct color, like anything, right? You just tint it, some, some green, some, some yellow, whatever. You, you just made that color sing and the muddy color too. You made both of them sing like la 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 la. <laughs> How many brushes am I using? Just this one. It's a number 10 flat brush. That's the only one I'm using. Uh, I usually just use three brushes, guys. Okay, sometimes I'll change it up, but usually just use these three brushes. This one, okay. Number four round tip, number ten flat, and the number something, number one just round, just just for quads and 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 signing because I love signing my work. It makes me feel like I'm important. That's the only reason. It's the only reason. Check it out. I already start adding some some color in there. Oh la la, molto Mario. Look at that. Molto bueno. Look at that. Oh. Bam, baby. And then you you gotta get aggressive, because if you don't get aggressive, it's not gonna work, okay? You have to mm, you have to mm, mm, in there, okay? If you don't get aggressive, you're doing it wrong. Okay? Anything that you do, you have to be a little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive. The more you love what you're doing, the more aggressive you have to be. Okay? I know some people are like, oh my God, I don't want to be aggressive. You ain't doing it right if you're not aggressive. You know? Being aggressive was, is, is one of the, it's, it's a gift of nature. Don't suppress it, be aggressive. Don't suppress your, your aggression, your aggressivity. Don't suppress it, baby. Use it. Use it or lose it. Don't become a, a condition to, what is it? Uh, that song that I like from that band that it's like super hipster. What is it called? Uh, creature of comfort. Don't become a creature of comfort, baby. Become aggressive. I guess I don't like them that much. I don't even know their name. My wife was telling me about them. And that's how I found out. I haven't listened to anything since Nirvana. No, I'm just joking. I, I do listen to stuff. I do listen to stuff from time to time. Among my favorite... Uh, I, I love listening to different stuff. I'll listen to something from like... Mariachi Vargas de Tecalitlan. I love listening to mariachi music. Old mariachi music, not the new stuff. I like, you know, 1940s stuff. And uh, anything between that and Bjork. <laughs> So, whatever, you know, my life. I just, I used to be a musician, so. And I say used to because I don't practice anymore, so. Yeah, I used to. So, it, I love music. Not as much as my wife, but my wife, she, she gets music very well. I was more into the music itself, like the composition and that. Like, I was a music, I wouldn't consider myself a music nerd, because I don't, I didn't read notes or anything sophisticated, but but 
You know how you see me painting? I think I was mu I was a much better musician. <laughs> yeah, it's a kick-ass musician. Look at that. How are you, uh, Deb? See, Lart says, uh, how are you switching colors so quick? Are you washing and wiping in between? Sure am. Let me show you because some of you are not seeing. So as I'm, as I'm painting, I'm doing this. You see it? I'm doing this. Yeah. Sometimes I don't wipe it. Sometimes I'll just use... Uh, someone found out one of my tricks. Someone uh, saw what I was doing. They caught on really quick. Um... They actually caught on really quick on YouTube. Uh, I'll use the excess paint as an underpainting base for the next step. But, I, but it's strategic, right? It's, it's muscle memory. It's strategic. I know where I'm going to use it, right? If you're a painter, you, you know where you're going to use it. Like if you're using a pink here, you know that you can, you can wipe it down in other places, right? You, you know that. So that's, that's sometimes I do that. And when I find that I have no need for the muddy color, because I'll use the muddy color wherever, any chance I got. But when I, when I find that I don't have any need for it, I'll just go like this. And I wipe, I wipe some of the excess down. So yeah, the, 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 the trick, is, the trick is, is getting rid of the color as quick as possible in order to paint um, in this way. In order to paint... Uh, um, sp with with uh, spontaneous, right? Spontaneous painting. The trick is to get rid of the color as quick as possible. You see, I'm I'm getting rid of the. I I I, I what I don't want to do is disconnect the brush from the canvas. Okay, this is a trick that I learned over years and years of painting. I'm a full time artist, guys. I I've been painting full time for over uh, what six, seven. I'm going to eight years now, painting full time. And I don't mean full time as in, oh, I love painting. I paint every day. No, like this is, this is how I sustain my family. So, so uh, painting, you know, 14, 16 hours a day. Uh, I've learned some tricks that are very hard to learn unless you're doing it so much, you know. And one of those is don't disconnect from the, from the camera. See, I'm, it's like a little fish eating, you know, a little fish eating. It's like a little fish. It doesn't... Don't disconnect from the canvas. It's 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 memory it's too. It's uh, not memory. I'm sorry. It's uh, it, it's practice. It, it's practice, right? Because you have to be very certain. You have to be very certain. Otherwise, you're going to want to step back, look at it, think about it, and procrastinate, and then go back again. And and you know, I I had to train myself, teach myself how to do that. And then I found out over years. Uh, that the brush wants to be connected with the canvas. It's almost like a stream of consciousness. You know, the brush wants to be connected with the canvas. The more you disconnect it, uh, the less certain you become. You become, you actually become very uncertain the more you disconnect it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love when I when people refer to me as awesomeness. Yeah. Super awesome this. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's how this cookie crumbles. And now let's let's paint some of those flowers, right? Now we have pink and we have this and we have that. So I really just want to kind of I feel right. I don't know. I might just I, I might just be you know joking myself, but but uh, I feel like this needs to stay kind of uh, white, right? The the, the lilies because. Uh, I don't want the lilies to be competing for for see everything is competing uh, in the in the realm of of color right everything is competing in the realm of color and it's competing in the realm of uh, of movement right because it's not like it's not like I'm spending a lot of time here and then making everything else choppy right it's competing. Everything is competing. So it's in competition. It's in tension. I don't want to really call it competition. It's, it's in tension. Tension with each other, right? There's tension going on. So, so if that's happening, I want to make sure that some of the things have spotlights, right? And, and it's, it's, 
when you're doing spontaneous painting, whether it be expressionism or impressionism or any type of ism, it's very difficult at times to not uh, give things a spotlight, you know? If you don't give things a spotlight, uh, then they just kind of blend into the whole thing. They have to have a spotlight, right? You have to have a spotlight. If not, if not they're going to blend in. Oh, I love that. Marga says, you're my favorite YouTuber. Lots of positive energy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love that. See, I read the comments. I read the comments. I always read the comments. Yeah, read the comments. Uh, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out a different little brush because I want... Now, I'm walking you guys through this because usually I just kind of... I, I do this very quick, right? Really without thinking about it. But I'm kind of walking you through it. Uh, here, what I want to do is, is I want to give it some outline, right? And the outline doesn't have to necessarily be outlined, uh, like this sophisticated outline, but I do want it to be there, present, right? So look, I, I saw this in uh, Monet's paintings of uh, Giverny, the garden, right? They were more Fauvist, expressionist. And, and the cat had a very distinct way of doing it. It was almost like looking into a portrait of Rembrandt. Have you guys ever seen a portrait of Rembrandt? They're very, very abstract. I know there's a lot of cats out there who are going to hate me saying this, but, but Rembrandt was a very abstract artist. He wasn't a realist like most people think, or he was a very abstract artist. He just, that was just the time he, he painted, you know. The world uh, required realism from him, but had had he been born a few hundred years later he would have been jackson pollock or or mark chagall or one of those cats because he was a very abstract artist just like velasquez velasquez is a very abstract artist velasquez would have been like banksy or or one of those guys very abstract guys it's what i love about them their their, their abstract nature um Goya Velasquez, just just to name a couple. Uh, Turner, we all know, right? Very abstract, dude. Some of them, what do they have in common, Turner, Goya, besides being romantic artists, uh, or the romantic, you know, art? Uh, it's not just that. It's, it's the way that they created mood with pure color, with pure abstraction. I don't, I don't know if, uh, if it was trend because Eugène de la Croix was doing that as well, the, 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 the French romantic. I don't know if it was trend in the romantics, but, but they sure as hell did it well. And their stuff had to look, you know, had to look, there we go. No more because then, then I'm gonna start fucking with it too much and I don't need to. This is perfect. This is muy bueno. Look, ooh, it's supposed to say badass, but it just it just has my initials there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Let's wave at all these beautiful people. I'm, gonna, I'm going to acknowledge every single one of you, even the one that just left right now. You got acknowledged too. I'm going to wave at you. What's up? All right, guys. So there you have it. Some water lilies by your... Yours truly, the world's greatest living artist, Jose Trujillo. All right? The composition is very strange here, but I love it. I dig it. I dig it. It takes you in, and then it kind of pushes you out. Ah, my favorite composition. Those of you who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't, you're going to find out. You will find out. It's a pyramid composition, guys. My favorite. It's the strongest form. All right. Take care, amigos. Adios.